in this video we are going to discuss about matrix representation of graphs in discrete mathematical structures dms generally we can represent graphs in two ways the first way is adjacency matrix the second way is incidence matrix first let us see about uh, adjacency matrix adjacency matrix means uh, here the value may be either uh, uh, 1 or 0 if there is an edge between two vertices then we have to fill the value as 1 whereas uh, if there is no edge between two vertices then the value will become 0 okay uh, let us see about uh, how to construct uh, adjacency matrix for undirected graph as well as directed graph undirected graph means uh, the edges does not contain uh, any directions okay various directed graph means the edges contain some direction let us see about uh, how to construct undirected graph for uh, uh, let us see about how to construct uh, adjacency matrix for undirected graph uh, in adjacency matrix the vertices are represents both row value as well as column values here the vertices are nothing but a b c d e so vertices represents both row value as well as column value so these are nothing but row values and column values also a b c d e so let us write here column values also a b c d e a b c d e so if you see here let us uh, uh, first let us see about vertex a uh, from uh, let us see the edges associated with a from a to b we have an edge so the corresponding value is 1 next uh, from a to d we have an edge so the corresponding value is 1 okay a is associated with only two edges so the remaining values are 0 next let us consider the vertex b b is associated with three edges b a b d b e so b a value is 1 b d value is 1 b e value is 1 so remaining values are 0 so if there is an edge between two vertices then the value is 0 if there is no edge then the value is uh, 0 okay if there is an edge between two vertices then the value is 1 if there is no edge then the value is 0 okay here uh, what is a uh, here rows and columns are nothing but uh, uh, these vertices only vertices only next if we consider c c is associated with uh, two edges c d c e so c d c e value 1 next remaining three values 0 uh, if we consider d d is associated with uh, three edges d a d b d c so d a d b d c so remaining values 0 if you consider E, E is associated with two edges, E, B, E, C. So, E, B value 0, E, C value, E, B value 1, E, C value 1. So, remaining two values 0. So, this is the adjacency matrix for undirected graph. Now, let us see how to construct uh, uh, adjacency matrix for uh, directed graph. So, here also adjacency matrix means uh, rows and columns are nothing but uh, vertices only. Here, the vertices are A, B, C, D, E. So, these are nothing but rows and these are columns a b c d e uh, here uh, what are the vertices here the vertices are uh, b1 b2 b3 b4 so instead of a b c d e here we have b1 b2 b3 b4 so b1 b2 b3 b4 row values next write the column values so vertices represents both row and column values okay both rows and columns okay here we have energy from if it if we consider v1 we have energy from uh, here uh, we have energy from v1 to v2 so v1 to v2 the value is 1 next we don't have uh, any edge from v1 to remaining vertices so remaining values are 0 okay this is the difference between uh, undirected graph and directed graph in directed graph we don't have uh, uh, an edge so here here this edge represents there is energy from a to b as well as there is energy from b to a so a to b we have an edge b to a we have an edge but here it specifies that we have an edge only from v1 to v2 we don't have energy from v2 to v1 okay next if we consider v2 so from v2 we have energy to v3 from v2 we have energy to v3 okay remaining values are zero if we consider v3 from v3 we have energy to v1 from V3, we have an edge to V2. From V3, we have an edge to V1, V2. If we consider V4, 
we have an edge 2 from v4 we have an edge 2 v1 so remaining values are 0 okay so from v v1 we have an edge 2 v2 remaining values 0 if we consider v2 from v2 we have an edge 2 v3 remaining values 0 if we consider v3 from v3 we have an edge 2 v1 as well as v2 as well as v4 also from v3 we have an edge 2 v4 also v4 also so this edge this edge and this edge from v4 we have an edge 2 v1 okay so this is nothing but adjacency matrix for directed graph now let us see about incidence matrix incidence matrix so for the same examples let us construct uh, incidence matrix incidence matrix so now let us see about the second type of matrix that is incidence matrix uh, in, in incidence matrix also we can construct incidence matrix for undirected graph as well as directed graph in incidence matrix what will happen is rows are nothing but vertices rows are nothing but vertices so what are the vertices a b c d e are the vertices whereas columns are nothing but edges here the edges are not given generally edges will be given in the examination if edges are not given then according to our choice we can name the edges let this edge name is e1 a to b let this edge name is e1 next we have another edge from a to d let this edge name is e2 next uh, uh, b to a is over next we have an edge from b to d b to e uh, let this edge name is b3 e3 next let this edge name is e4 so b edges are over next if we consider c we have edges from c to d c to e let this edge name is e4 let this edge name is e5 next if we consider d so d to b already over d to a already over if we consider e uh, uh, those edges are also over so 1 2 1 2 3 4 yeah how many edges are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so totally we have uh, five edges only yeah this is the first edge next this edge is over next this is the second edge this edge is over next this is the third edge three edges are over next uh, next uh, here uh, this edge name is uh, e5 e5 this edge name is e6 so totally we have six edges are there here columns are nothing but edges so e1 e1 how many edges are there five edges e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 six edges e6 okay so totally we have six edges okay uh, next here uh, here uh, rows are nothing but what vertices columns are nothing but edges in the examination edge names will be given if the edge names are not given then according to our choice we can name the edges okay uh, let us uh, take even edge here e1 edge is useful in order to join these two vertices e1 edge joins what this a and b a and b so in a the value is 1 in b also the value is 1 that means e1 is incident to a and b incident to a and b okay e1 is adjacent to a and b so that's why here we have written 1 1 next remaining values are 0 0 next if we take e2 e2 is incident on a and d e2 is incident on a and d a and d so remaining values are 0 so according to the column here we are writing the values okay next if you take e3 e3 is incident on b and d that means e3 joins these two vertices b and d so b value 0 d value 0 so remaining va b value 1 d value 1 remaining value 0 next e4 e4 edge is joining b and e that means e4 is incident on b and e e4 is incident on b and e so b1 e1 remaining values are 0 next e5 is incident on c and d c and d c and d c and d so remaining values are 0 next e6 is incident on c and e c and e c and e so remaining values are 0 so in this way we can construct incidence matrix incidence means what here the edge is incident on these two vertices so that's why it is named as incidence matrix in this way we can construct incidence matrix for undirected graph now let us see how to construct uh, incidence matrix for directed graph here mainly the matrix is filled with three values plus one minus one zero 
प्लस वन मीन्स द एज इज आउटगोइंग एज इफ द एज इज आउटगोइंग एज देन वी हैव टू यूज प्लस वन माइनस वन मीन्स इफ द एज इज इनकमिंग एज देन वी हैव टू यूज माइनस वन जीरो मीन्स नो एज जीरो मीन्स नो एज सो प्लस वन मीन्स आउटगोइंग एज माइनस वन मीन्स इनकमिंग एज जीरो मीन्स नो एज now let us see the incidence matrix for uh, directed graph uh, in incidence matrix means uh, rows are nothing but vertices so what are the vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 are nothing but uh, uh, vertices so these rows are nothing but what uh, vertices next the columns represents what edges here totally we have eight edges are there so e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 so first let us uh, here previously uh, in undirected graph uh, based upon the column we have written the values whereas in directed graph based upon the row we have to write the values why because edges associated with vertices so if we consider v1 here outgoing edge means plus 1 incoming edge means minus 1 no edge means 0 uh, okay here for, for v1 we have two incoming edges are there this e6 is nothing but incoming edge incoming edge means what minus 1 so v1 to e6 minus 1 next e4 v1 to e4 also uh, that is incoming edge so minus 1 uh, v1 to v2 this is outgoing edge so e1 is outgoing edge outgoing edge means plus 1 v1 e2 we don't have an edge edge v1 to v3 no edge v1 to e5 no edge next let us consider v2 v2 for v2 what are the incoming edges e1 is incoming edge e3 is incoming edge incoming edge means minus 1 so v2 e1 minus 1 e3 minus 1 whereas e2 is outgoing edge outgoing edge means plus 1 next e4 e5 e6 uh, uh, we don't have any edges it is associated with three edges only next let us focus on v3 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 here e4 e3 is nothing but outgoing edges outgoing edges means plus 1 plus 1 next uh, uh, yeah v3 these these two are over e3 e4 next from v3 to v4 this is e5 uh, so this is outgoing edge outgoing edge means what plus 1 plus 1 so three edges are over e3 is over uh, next e2 is uh, e2 e2 v3 this is what which edge this edge is uh, incoming edge incoming edge means minus 1 minus 1 so v3 e2 means minus 1 next v3 to yeah these are the edges so how many edges are there e5 it is over e5 is over next e4 is over next e3 e2 is over so remaining edges are nothing but zero next if you take v4 v4 is associated with two edges so e6 edge is what uh, outgoing edge so v4 e6 means outgoing means plus 1 next v4 e5 means what incoming edge incoming edge means minus 1 so remaining values are zero so in this way we can construct a incidence matrix for a directed graph so this is about matrix representation of graphs in discrete mathematical structures